Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Celebrity Crime. In today's episode, we go into the dark past of one of our favorite rappers gone punk rock, Machine Gun Kelly, also known as MGK. Before we get into it, remember to like and subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification button so you don't miss any episodes. Now, let's get into it. Colson Baker, better known as Machine Gun Kelly, or MGK, was born on April 22, 1990, in Houston, Texas. Colson was the son of missionary parents, which means that both he and his entire family had to constantly move from country to country to promote their religion. During that time, they moved to Egypt and Germany, as well as various cities in the United States, such as Chicago, Los Angeles, Denver, and Cleveland. At the age of nine, MGK's parents divorced, and his mother later abandoned them both. It was not until MGK's rise to fame that they met again. I fucking hated and resented that situation so much that like, I don't even, I didn't even fucking, the last time I fucking remember her was when I was nine years old, when she was with my father. In those years, MGK's father struggled with depression and was always unemployed due to his mental health struggles. So, MGK grew up with a very tough childhood. To put it into perspective, MGK only had two uniforms to go to school and endured years of harassment from the children in his neighborhood. MGK dove headfirst into rap back when he was in sixth grade. He used it as an outlet to express his ongoing struggles in life. His name, Machine Gun Kelly, came from the most wanted thief in California during the Prohibition era. MGK's rise to fame began in 2009, and to this day, he is considered one of the greatest celebrities in the pop, punk, and rap scene. He now stars in multiple films that he helps produce, including his own short biography, Life in Pink. Now, MGK has struggled with many things, but his drug use has been the worst of it. He openly expressed that he loved to use heroin, alcohol, MDMA, and many other dangerous substances since his youth. In 2019, while finishing a tour in Moscow, he wrote on Twitter, I want to be happy one day without the help of pills, drinks, or drugs. I want to wake up and know what mood I'm going to be in. MGK did not have it easy growing up, clearly being born in an unstable environment and then the sudden fame he obtained left some serious consequences on his psyche that led him to do some wildly dangerous things that later caught the attention of the authorities. One of those occasions was in 2012, when he had to spend a night in a Florida jail. What was the cause? Disturbance of public order. MGK had ramped his fans and himself up that later led to the arrest of himself along with his fans for disturbance in a public area. There was also a time when he was arrested three times in just 72 hours. In his words, literally nothing but smoking pot for the first two and having an attitude at the airport for the third. Do you, do and you like, tell, wait, what? Yeah. yeah, please tell us about this. Yeah, dude. do you tell yeah. what did you do this time? Literally nothing but smoking weed for the first two and then having an attitude at the airport for the third one, but... As we mentioned before, the relationship between the artist and his father was very rocky. His father lived with depression and could not bear that his son got into trouble almost daily. So, there came a time when MGK was kicked out of his house by his father and forced to live with his aunt. MGK and his father later bonded again, but the timing wasn't the best. In July of 2020, his father passed away unexpectedly. MGK fondly remembered him in his song, Lonely. I got in trouble the first time my dad saw me. In this song, MGK pays tribute to his father with the following lines. Lonely, lonely, even when the room is full. I'm lonely, lonely, lonely without you. This was perhaps the hardest moment of his career. But fortunately, MGK's life has improved over time. And even more so after outing his relationship with movie star Megan Fox. He has also been very open to his fans about starting therapy. Something that has helped him a lot since 2020. MGK commented on his therapy, 
I am at the beginning of the process. I think the tools I've been given to get started seem useful. I'm still tearing my hair out. Why don't I change overnight? How am I supposed to meditate for 10 minutes when I can't even sit in my own brain for 2 minutes without getting distracted by doing something? Another very important part of MGK's life is his daughter Casey Colson Baker, who was born in 2009. You can see that he is a very loving father and has tried in all his might to be there for her when he is able. He mentions her all the time and uploads photos of her on social media with them together. He has a very corgile relationship with her mother, which helps. In his documentary, Life in Pink, his daughter Casey states, People say stuff about my dad, but you only see one side, showing us that there is another side to MGK that people know nothing about, a more gentle side, someone who cares excessively about those that he loves. That her father is highly misunderstood by the media and what they portray of him. It is common for these artists to find themselves struggling with multiple problems, but very few settle down and try to improve their lives by changing their habits, and we can happily say that MGK is trying to change. Despite the hard life he had to live, MGK continues to make positive changes that are allowing him to recollect who he really is and to better enjoy fame. If you could give one piece of advice to MGK, what would it be? Leave us your answer in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so you don't miss any episodes. Till the next video, ta-ta!